These gentlemen from Shenandoah over here. Yep, Thank you. Y'all sounded great to yourself. Thank you. Bless your heart. This your debut on the show, isn't it? Yes. How you feeling? I'm feeling about a million bucks. Oh, great. <laughs> is is uh, that your real name, Cece? It's a nickname. My, my name is Melissa. Melissa. But Cece is my nickname. C W E C W E. Norm. Isn't that your wife's name? C.C.? Right, I'm B.B. She had to say, what? <laughs> what? You don't want to repeat that? No, no. <laughs> C.C., what do you want these people to know about you? Well, I've got a new album out. It's, it's called Twist of Fate, the name of the song I just did. And I got a new video coming out, my very first one. It's going to be done Saturday. And they're going to release it about uh, two weeks into June. Where are you going to do it? Here in Nashville. Have you picked the spot yet? Well, it's on a train at the end of Broadway Street. And it's, it's... Oh, that's down by the river. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Are, are you gonna get on a standing train or a moving train? They said this? it's gonna move, and it's a concept video, so that'll be exciting. And, uh... Uh, what was the record that, uh, that helped you get the nomination? At... Gone But Not Forgotten. That was, was your debut record? Uh-huh. How high in the charts did it go? It went to 60, so. Okay. 
Now, where's, is, is Twisted Fate your second record? No, the second record was called Frontier Justice. I don't, I don't know if anybody out there knows or ever heard of it, but that was the second record. And the third one is called Twist of Fate that I just did. Okay, you're three records into your, into your career on a major record label. You're right. Do you sing around the Washington area? Uh-huh, and the Baltimore area. I'd like to say hello to the Baltimore folks if I could. Now, all right, let me ask you about... This, this place is possibly gone now, probably is, but Roy Clark and Jimmy Dean, when they worked in the Washington area, used to talk about a club they worked all the time called the Dixie Pig. Oh, it's still there. Is it still there? The Dixie, the Dixie Pig has got great barbecue. <laughs> so they're still there? It, they're still there. They still have country music? No, they don't. It's just a restaurant now. But, well, they're lost. <laughs> of course, maybe I mean, uh, Jimmy Dean and Roy Clark got too, too uh, expensive for them. Isn't that interesting that they, they're in the barbecue business? Yes, they are. And the Jimmy Dean wound up in the sausage business. Okay. <laughs> Smart guy.